The Seattle Seahawks head to Lambeau this week, drawing the Green Bay Packers for Week 10. Seattle hoping to get its head chef back in the kitchen for this game. Wilson looking deep, floating one. He's got a man, and guess who? It's Lockett who gets it away. Touchdown! Russell Wilson has been working his way back from that hand injury. Refreshing our memories, he was cooking things up pretty nicely before getting hurt. 10 TDs, only one pick, rating of 110 or better in four of his five games. There it is! Touchdown, Metcalf! The two biggest beneficiaries, if he's back, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, of course. He's on to the sideline. Oh, what a catch made by DK Metcalf! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Wilson is up against a defense that's played the pass at an extremely high level. Versus Patrick Mahomes, they allowed under 5 yards per attempt, rating under 80, under 170 yards passing. Mahomes passes nearly picked by Kevin King. 2021 stats against the pass for the pack near the top of the pack. Josh Gordon has it knocked away and it's second down and 10. And their latest performance was executed without standout corner Eric Stokes, who suffered a knee injury before their game. Plus, they're already down Jair Alexander. But they won't be down John Wick anymore, who seems to be good at coming back after a loss, if you believe the movies. Little pump fake play is caught! Second of the game! Touchdown, Green Bay! Aaron Rodgers' Halloween costume this year seems symbolic, doesn't it? Rodgers seeming to have even more, let's call it, motivation. Prior to his unexpected break, he had put up 17 TDs against just three picks. His last three games, he threw seven TDs, no INTs, and one of those games, he was without his top three receivers. Into the end zone, tight end! Touchdown, Tunyon! Happy tight ends day! So, this will be the first time in three weeks they'll have most of their band back together. Spinal Tap was still great with all those fill-in drummers, though. Love throw, sideline, there is Devontae Adams, and pass is caught. That is Marquez Valdez Scantling. This one for Lazard. Makes the play, touchdown Packers! Seattle's pass defense hasn't been too bad this year. You might call them average-ish based on their numbers. And now throwing deep, and it is intercepted. Picked off inside the 20-yard line, Quandre Diggs. And Adams will likely do battle with DJ Reed a lot. He doesn't have a big-time name, but he's put up some big-time numbers as the corner who tends to draw the other team's WR1 a lot. Sideline throw is incomplete. DJ Reed challenges Chase Claypool in the air. The Seahawks could use some help from their front. Less than two sacks a game, low pressure rate, a low QB hit count. Play fake, Tannehill taking a deep shot down the field looking for Julio Jones, what a catch! Hawks run defense on the other hand has allowed an acceptable 4.2 per run. Yeah, up front Seattle is playing pretty well. They've got two pretty good run stuffers in there, Al Woods and Puna Ford. They will try and keep Green Bay's rush attack from making an impact. It has been spearheaded by Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon who both hit at 4.4 or better versus KC. Jones takes it and gets it! The Packers run it on third and six and Aaron Jones gets nine. That was the one semi-bright spot for Green Bay offensively against Kansas City, but no need to talk Jordan Love since he's back on the bench. So, both teams welcome back their fearless leaders. At least I'm hoping that's the case for Wilson too, because if he's back, that makes this game game of the week. Am I wrong? No, Walter, you're not wrong. You're just an Aaron Rodgers line for you since he's a big fan of that, as am I. Let's see the predictions, and you're allowed to provide both with or without Russell, which these 10 people can't do on YouTube anyway. Once it's up, it's up.